Hi, I'm Vanessa Packer, founder of Model Fit. We're here in our studio in New York City. I'm in my Sweaty Betty Model Fit collection, and I'm gonna take you through a 20 minute legs and butt workout. What you're gonna need for this is a mat or a soft surface to do the workout on, three pound ankle weights, and two pound hand weights. If you don't have any of those things, it's okay. You can still do the workout. Just follow along, listen to my cues, and let's get started. So we're gonna start with a dynamic warm up. Begin with your feet hips width apart. Bring your foot back and press down with your heel as your arm comes up. And you wanna feel a full stretch all along the front side of your body. Switch sides. Now you're gonna bring your foot out to the side. You wanna feel a stretch all along the side of your body, especially your obliques. So I like to put my hand on the side of my body in order to feel where I'm supposed to really get into the stretch. Switch sides. Now you're gonna bring your foot to the diagonal and then back and really lean into that hip. Feel the stretch. Other side. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna begin our workout starting on our mat. This is really gonna be working our legs and our butt, but we're also gonna keep our core activated the entire time. I have my ankle weights on and I have my arm weights here, but feel free to not use them if it feels like too much um, and listen for my cues and let's get started. So we're gonna begin, your wrist should be in line with your shoulders and your knees should be in line with your hips. Stretch your leg out and stretch your arm out. If you're feeling strong, grab your hand weight. We're gonna do 15 lifts. Keep your core engaged and tap down each time. Be sure to keep your neck down. I know that you wanna look up and see if you're doing it properly, but it's better for your neck and your stability if you just keep facing down. Now we're gonna do little pull-ins while we kick out. So here you can push out through your heel and pull in utilizing your abs, but really make sure to feel it in the back side of your leg and in your butt when you kick. We're gonna do 15 of these. Now we're gonna switch sides. Grab your hand weight, same thing, 15 lifts. So when you're lifting, be sure to keep your core engaged, really elongate out of your leg. You wanna feel the lift from the back part of your leg and from your butt. Now we're gonna do little Pull-ins, remember to kick out through your heel, push from your butt, and activate your core to pull everything in. 15 of these.
So now we're gonna do the same thing, but with your leg out to the diagonal. Feel free to use an arm weight or not use any weight at all. Sometimes with this one, it's a little bit more challenging on your abs, so you wanna keep your hands firmly placed down. You're gonna lift from the back of your leg, 15 lifts. Challenge yourself without the weight, you can put your arm on a diagonal. And then we're gonna pull in, cross, and push out. Again, pushing through the heel, you're gonna feel this on your inner thigh kind of wrapping around while you push with your heel and obviously your butt. You're gonna feel it big time. And now we're gonna do everything on the other side. So bring your leg out on the diagonal. You're gonna start with little lifts. Really get into that lift before lifting your arm or your arm with a weight. Feel the elongating across your body. You get to 15, you're gonna do little pull-ins. Really push out through that heel. Feel the kick in the smile part of your butt. Okay, now we're gonna do the reverse diagonal. You're gonna keep both your hands firmly planted on the mat. Bring your right leg across your body and start with little lifts, isolating the inner thigh. And you're gonna do 15 of these. Be sure to press through your hands too so that your shoulder joints aren't sinking into your neck. To challenge yourself, bring your hand up to meet your arm and utilize that core to stabilize and work full body. So once you finish up these lifts, you wanna bring your hand down, and now we're gonna do our kicks. And you just wanna kick from the back of your leg, below your butt, utilizing that, that smile part where your leg meets your butt. You should feel this in your thigh, butt, leg, just small little kicks going up. Doesn't matter how high you get it, you just wanna really feel it in your muscles. Now we're gonna do the other side. So bring your leg across. We're gonna start with lifts, utilizing that inner thigh. And again, to challenge yourself, bring your hand up and grab your other arm. Bring your hand down. We're gonna do our little kicks. You can even slow it down just so you really feel where I want you to be working. So now you're gonna come down to your forearms. We're gonna do what I like to call the rainbow. So you're gonna bring your leg out to the 
diagonal and you're gonna come across your body like a rainbow. And what this does is it works the entire leg, 360 from the outside of your leg to your inner thigh. You wanna lift and really control that movement when it's coming down. So don't rush through it, really take your time. And we're gonna do 15 repetitions of this. So when you get to that final one, come up on to your arm on your right side and then keep your forearm down. We're gonna lift that leg and do little fire hydrant kicks. We're gonna do 15 of these. Really push from your heel you should feel this all through your butt and the back of your leg. And keep your knee angled with your hip. Now we're gonna do the whole thing on the other side. You're gonna begin with your foot out to the side, come across like a rainbow, and really use the inner and outer thigh to lift that leg across your body. Keep your core engaged and really allow for the stability to work with the leg lifts. Then you're gonna do 15 of these. And on your 15th one, you're gonna come up on your arm, push your forehand, forearm down, bring your leg up hip height, and you're gonna do little hydrant kicks. 15 of these, pushing from your butt with your heel being the guiding, guiding part of the kick. Now you want to come back into a child's pose. So from child's pose, we're going to do our pull down. You want to take off your ankle weights and set them off to the side. Or if you don't have any ankle weights on, don't worry about it. We're going to begin with our legs out and you just want to stretch over, really allow that stretch to happen all through the back side of your legs because we worked out a lot today and all through your butt as well. Um, if you can, bring your hands over your toes and just lean over your legs and just let your body kind of collapse over your legs. And then come up, bring one leg in Push your knee down so you get a nice stretch like that, and then come over your leg again. You can even bring your hand on the inside and bring your arm up, which is a really nice side stretch. Come up and switch sides.
Then you're gonna come up and come into a butterfly. So bring your feet pressed together, knees apart. You wanna squeeze your feet together as you come down over your legs. It should feel really good as an inner thigh stretch. You can even stretch your arms out. So far up. Come up, stretch your leg out, bring your other leg across, and then just squeeze your knee in and do a little twist. Stretch your leg out, other side. and you're done with your cool down. And that concludes our Model Fit 20 minute butt and legs workout exclusive for Sweaty Betty. For optimal results, do this workout three times a week. And don't forget to check out our collection with Sweaty Betty in store and online at sweatybetty.com. I'll see you next time.